Hello. Right, I'm going to make some lunch. I'm starving. I've just been been out for the morning and I'm come back and I'm really hungry and I need something that's quick and easy. So what I've got here, I've got um, 55 grams of chicken. So that's just a tiny bit of chicken. Can you see that? Just a tiny bit of chicken. I've got um, 50 grams of onions, 50 grams of mushrooms, 50 grams of peppers. All right, and I've got this stuff. This is Cajun seasoning, okay? All supermarkets do it. And I'm gonna make myself a flatbread with those ingredients on, and then I'm gonna top it with some mint yogurt. All right, the whole lot, for the whole lot, it's gonna cost me 245 calories. Uh, you can work out the, if you're following WW, one of these things I think is three points for one of these flatbreads it is, yeah? Your chicken, if you're following blue or purple, will be zero. And if you just point 50 grams of chicken, if you're following green, it's as easy as that. All right, so these flip flatbreads are readily available in all supermarkets. All right, but I'm going to get this started now. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is warm up my pan, get my pan nice and hot. All right, a bit of this stuff I use, canola, you get it from Costco. It's good because it doesn't ruin your pans like the fry light. You can use fry light if you want. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is chop up the chicken. All right, so I'm just going to chop it pretty fine because I want this to cook relatively quickly and it's going to cook along with the other ingredients. So not a lot of chicken, I know, but do you know what? It will be enough, I promise you. All right, so I've popped that into my pan. So I've got some nice bite-sized pieces of chicken that have gone into a frying pan. Next thing to slice up is the onion. Again, do it quite fine because we want this to, because we're hungry. We want this to cook pretty quickly, don't we? Oh, there you go. So that goes into my pan. Oh, it helps, do you know, it helps if you switch on the right, the right one. Anyway, that's just me, isn't it? That's what I'm like. Right, okay, it's still not got on, so let's try again. Why is it not going on? Totally well. Do you know, like, you reboot computers. I think my, my thing thinks it's a computer. That's done it. That's done it. Okay, so that's on. So they've gone in. Next thing, peppers. All right, so I'm just going to thinly slice these pepper, a bit of pepper. Remember, it's 50 grams of chicken, 50 grams of onion, 50 grams of mushrooms, and 50 grams of peppers. Um, okay, and they go into the pan too. Slice your mushrooms, like so. Chuck them in, like that. They're in. Okay, so they're going to cook along. Hopefully, that's going to start to get yeah. Ouch, that's getting hot now. All right, as soon as that starts to go, I'll be sprinkling this in, but not for now. Next thing I do, now with these, these are great to keep in because I keep them in the freezer. Once I've bought a pack, I keep it in the freezer. And what I do is take them out frozen and just pop them straight into the toaster. That way you're not kind of getting to the bottom of the bag and one of them's gone bad or something like that, which especially when it's warm, like it may be at the moment, I don't know when you'll be watching this, um, they open up, So, but you toast them like that. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that into the toaster. I'll be back in a minute. That's toasting away to its little self now. Right, so I'm just pushing this around the pan. This has started to sizzle now. I'm going to turn it right up. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for that to do, I'm going to make some uh, a dressing to go on this. It's really, really easy to make. Now the dressing, if you have it on the own, if you just have the wrap and the chicken, it's going to cost you 245, right? If you add the dressing, it's another 30 calories on top. All right. So all you do is you get, and I've already done it, a tablespoon or 40 grams of the yogurt, and you pop that into a dish. Then you get this stuff. You've all got it, especially if you've, you, you've eaten them. You love it I'm banging about your cupboards because I'm all about cooking stuff for me with stuff that you've got hanging about. Oh, that's cooking. It smells so good. I can't wait for this. Take the lid off. Get a teaspoon, just one teaspoon, which is five calories, and you pop that into there. Now, to make this 
zing to give it a bit of a punch and to make it so it kind of flows onto whatever we're doing. It's great as a salad dressing, this is. What you do is you get some of this stuff, white wine vinegar, cider vinegar, anything that you've got on it about, and you just put just a, just a tiny, about a, about a teaspoon of white wine vinegar goes into that, and you give it a good stir around. Now, all we've got to do then is season this, and you've got a lovely dressing there. Right, so we need a bit of pepper. We'll put a bit of pepper in there as well, if you like. And a tiny pinch, just tiny, tiny pinch of salt, just so that's seasoned. That's it. Look at that. That, honestly, it just takes it to another level. Right, this is cooking beautifully. Works better, doesn't it, when you switch up, switch on your cooker. So, you're useless, you really are. You make me wonder at times, love. Right, okay. Cajun spice, great this is. Um, you, what it says on the packet is you spray your chicken in oil before you, you pop it on. But do you know what? You don't need to because what you've done in essence, oh, I might use that one. You, the chicken's got that moisture as it's cooking. I mean, if you can see this cooking away in the pan now, see that? It's doing great, it's doing really well. So one teaspoon of this, you get all different types of spices. If you don't like it too spicy, that's fine. You don't you just just do it with salt and pepper. And actually it tastes alright without anything on, but I'm just sprinkling it on top of all the ingredients. Like so. It's smelling good. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Okay. If you like a bit more pinch to it, you can add a few chili flakes to it if you wanted to, but it's got quite a bite to it, this has. It's quite nice. Now, you don't want to really overcook these ingredients, so it's literally, I've been doing this for what, well, that's been in the pan for about five minutes. So we'll give it another couple of minutes and it'll be done. But, while well, I'm waiting, I'll just find out my toast, this bread out of toast. Ah, okay, coming up, you're loving a bit of bread. Okay. So here we are. Flatbread, okay, so it's toasted, it's nice and crunchy. You open it up like that, or you can you can do that if you want, but I like to open mine up just so it looks pretty, to be honest. Because don't, when you agree that, like half the enjoyment of food is looking at it, isn't it? And smelling it, obviously. Let me tell you, this smells amazing. A bit more black pepper, because you know I'm the black pepper queen around here. Another couple of minutes, and that should be done. Anyway, I'll come back to you in a minute when it's done. I don't want to bore you with the cooking process, eh? Okay, so it's done. Here we go. So there you are. So there's a nice uh, stir-fried Cajun chicken with peppers, mushrooms and onions. And I've, put, I've just popped a few salad leaves on there just so it kind of bulks it out a bit more and makes it go a bit further. So let's pop this so it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. And the last thing I'm going to do, and I'll take a photograph of this so you can see it, is I'm just going to drizzle on my salad dressing. Oh, it's lovely, this is. Put a bit round the edge so I can scoop it up with the bread as well. Oh, it's lovely. That looks absolutely blooming amazing. So here we are. So I've got a lovely flatbread with a um, lovely Cajun chicken on it and a bit of mint yogurt dressing. Gorgeous. And I'm going to tuck into it now. Have a great day. See ya.